Did you know that cookies from uh, comes from the Dutch word kikadree, which I probably did not say that right, but it means little cakes. So today we're, I'm going to show you how to make no bake cookies. But I didn't make any spring. I bought some. I worked double yesterday, so. <laughs> and I don't have a hot plate because it was like $24 at Walmart and I was not spending that money. Sorry. Anyway, the first thing we're going to say is I'm going to show everyone how to make no bake cookies in as little as five steps. The first step is gathering equipment. So, you'll need measuring cups, all the cups, which you'll only need to use a half and a cup, and you'll use that multiple times, by the way. And then teaspoons, and tablespoons, and you'll also need other spoons, and you'll need wax paper, which I already have, because I don't want to take it through. The second step would be gathering all your in ingredients. I already have them all measured out because I don't want to bring everything to do that. That would take up a lot of time. So, we have two cups of sugar, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, one stick of butter, a half a cup of milk, <laughs> one cup of peanut butter, and then a tablespoon of vanilla, and three cups of oat milk. <laughs> so the third step would be combining all the ingredients, but you only combine the sugar, so we'll dump it in the pan, and act like as if this is on the stove and it's heating up, and you'll put it on high. So add all the sugar. And then you'll add this. Add the milk and the butter, and you also add the cocoa powder to it as well. And you may want to stir it a little bit before it like starts bubbling, so your sugar doesn't stick to the pan. So add the cocoa. Try to get all of it in there, and then you'll stir it until it's mix very well and you'll stir it about mm, every, until everything's mixed and then you'll wait for it to boil for a minute and then you'll add the oatmeal to it all the oatmeal and then you'll add the peanut butter and I'm not going to put all the peanut butter in there just because it sticks very a lot. And then you add the vanilla in there. And you'll stir it really well until everything's mixed and make sure you don't have any clumps of sugar or cocoa powder at the bottom of the pan. And then you'll actually put it on here. You take it like a, about that much and you'll put it on the parchment paper. But of course, it'll be a lot better mixture. And then the last step would be step five because step four is putting on the parchment paper. You would eat all the cookies. So who likes a cookie? <laughs> all right. Is that it? Yep. Okay. <laughs>